Mode Solutions supports modeling of linear dispersive materials, as well as more complex materials including nonlinear, spatially varying refractive index, and anisotropic materials. The FDE solver, being a frequency domain solver, does not support any of the nonlinear material models. Nonlinear material models in mode solutions can only be used with the VAR FDTD solver. There are two general types of material models permittivity models and conductivity models. Permittivity models are most common. The type of model that can be used depends on the type of structure. Most structures are compatible with the permittivity models, while 2D structures, the 2D rectangle or polygon, require a conductivity-based material model. Materials are set as a property of the structure object. Structure primitives have a material property with a drop-down menu allowing you to select a material to assign to the object. For 3D primitives, the material of the object is represented in the simulation by a permittivity. You can choose to set the material to object-defined dielectric and specify the refractive index of the material in the index field. In the index field, it's possible to type a single number to represent a uniform isotropic material, or you can type three values separated by semicolons to represent diagonal anisotropy, where the first value is the refractive index in the x direction, the second value is the refractive index in the y direction, and the third value is the refractive index in the z direction. You can also type an equation as a function of variables x, y, and z to define a refractive index profile that varies over space. For example, here we have an equation which sets the refractive index to be a linear function of x, a sine function along y, and a constant along z. The limitation of the object-defined dielectric material is that it can only be used to define a real refractive index that is constant over frequency. To represent a dispersive material where the index is a function of frequency, you'll need to choose a different material from the drop-down. For 2D structure primitives, the 2D rectangle and 2D polygon, the material of the object is represented in the simulation by a surface conductivity. 2D structures are used to represent thin films of conductive materials where the film can be approximated as being infinitely thin. The material supported for 2D structures is Perfect Electrical Conductor, PEC. You can use 2D rectangle structures to represent a lumped RLC load by setting the material to RLC. You can then type in the values of resistance, R, impedance, L, and capacitance, C, as well as the current flow direction. And the structure will effectively represent a load with a sum in parallel of R, L, and C. Most imported objects added from the import drop-down menu in the main toolbar use the materials drop-down menu to set the material of the imported object similarly to 3D structure primitives, except for the NK material object. The NK material import object is used to specify a 3D object with spatially varying refractive index. This is done by specifying the refractive index, which can be anisotropic, over a 3D rectangular grid of positions. Note that this is meant for single frequency simulations only, and cannot be used to specify a spatially varying refractive index that is also dispersive. The material database, which can be opened from the Materials button in the main toolbar, includes the full list of materials that you can choose from the Materials list of an object, and lets you add and edit materials. The Material Explorer, which can be opened from the Check menu in the Simulation toolbar, allows you to plot the material data and fit as a function of wavelength or frequency. In the following subsections, the Material Database and Material Explorer will be covered in more detail.